Well, hello, geometers and seekers of general truth. Uh, in this com upcoming unit, we will be working on um, more problems and questions with circles and line segments that are related to those circles. Um, but before we get to all of the complicated stuff, we want to establish the vocabulary and the terminology. So uh, let's get into it right now. So the first definition I have here is a circle. And I think everyone has an intuitive understanding of what a circle is. But uh, let's try to articulate it using precise mathematical language. So as I've defined it here, a circle is a point called the center and all points that are equidistant from the center. So in our example, our center here is A, right? And then every single point that is equidistant from A, so from A to D, whatever that length is, that's the same distance as it is from A to E. And, ev and from A to F, that's also the same distance. And from A to any other point on this circle, say from A to like this point right here, if you draw this line, that's also equidistant. Okay, so if you, if you go around and you find all the points that are equidistant from A and you group them all together, what you have is a circle. All right, next, let's talk about some other terms here, a chord. Okay, so a chord is a line segment between two points on the circle. All right, so in our example here, uh, there are many chords that we can construct. So from F to B, we can call that a chord. Okay, from F to B, that's a chord. Okay, from uh, E to D. That's also a chord. Okay, and many others okay, are chords of the circle. Okay. Uh, a diameter is just a special case. It's just a, a special type of chord. So it is a chord that passes through the center. All right, so in our example, there's lots of, uh, there's, there's one diameter that we have here, which is E to F. Okay, so EF is a diameter. And there are several others that we can also construct if we needed to. So we could draw a line from C through the center through the other side. That would also produce a diameter. Okay. Uh, next, we have what's called a tangent line. And I want to emphasize here the word tangent does not mean the same thing as it does in trigonometry. It is not opposite over adjacent. So the tangent line here is a line that touches the circle exactly once okay so a line that touches the circle exactly once okay so and this is a little hard to to imagine so let's draw an example here so if i have a line that just like barely grazes that circle okay so let's say that's a point on the circle if i have a line that barely let me draw this a little bit better here so if i have a let me erase that real quick all right, so let's try this again. If I have a line that goes through, that goes this way, and it just barely touches the circle, okay? So we'll call that M right here. So in our example, M uh, is a tangent, a tangent line, okay? And so there are some very special properties of that tangent line that we will discuss later, but you see that it's, uh, it barely, barely touches that, that circle, okay? And our final definition that we're going to learn here is a secant, which is a line that touches the circle exactly twice, okay? So there are lots and lots of ways that we can construct a secant line. So one way that we could do it is, like, from there through there, okay? That would be considered a secant line. So we can say that BC is a secant. Okay. It's a secant line of the circle. Um, some other related terminology to all of this, um, well, let's write it up here, uh, a common tangent. Okay. It is a line that is tangent to two or more circles. So for example, over here, if I have like this circle 
and like this circle, then I can have a line that's tangent to the first circle and also tangent to the second circle. So this line right here, k, that we could call a common tangent. Okay. So there we have just here we have just a few uh, vocabulary terms, and we will use these vocabulary to definitely expand in our understanding of these. But um, for now, um, that gets us started. And what I would like you to do is go on to this next look at this diagram here and state the the name that best fits this. So what would what we what could we call F? What could we call B E and all these other things? Okay. Um, and actually, before we go on to that, I want to uh, state one more thing here uh, relating to the tangent line. Okay, so there's one more thing here. Uh, so we'll call this the point where the line is tangent to the circle. We call that the point of tangency. Okay. The point tangent to the circle is called the point of tangency. So if you look at this picture, line M is tangent to the circle at B. So we can say that B, in our example, right, B is a point of tangency. Okay. So all these all these phrases like common tangent, tangent points of tangency, they're all, they're all related to each other. All right. All right, now we can stop here, and this is the end uh, of, of this video, and again, we're just trying to establish some basic vocabulary. The main takeaway is if I say one of these terms, you should be able to picture visually in your mind what that looks like. As always, keep working hard. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.